Hello. How are you, Eva? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Welcome to another episode of Wine Mom. And the Critic. Tonight we're going to talk about a very interesting wine from New York State. Bridge Lane 2015 White Merlot. That's right. You heard it correctly. White Merlot. Merlot. This is amazing. It is. Well, most people know Merlot is a red wine, right? Yeah. A red French Bordeaux varietal. Um, so any wine can be made into a white wine, as some of you probably know. It just means that you squeeze the juice and there's no skin contact. I think this is the first white Merlot I've seen. Like, I literally was expecting red. Yeah. But it's not. And the fact that it's a twist off, well, hey. Very pale straw color. It looks paler than a Chardonnay. As pale as a Sauvignon Blanc, maybe even paler. All right, let's sniff it. Let's scratch and sniff. What do you think? It's very crispy. It's got some interesting fruit to it, like yeah. um, grapefruit maybe? Grapefruit, a little lemon, a little zest. Citrusy, acidic, yeah, promising. Yeah. Salud. Cheers. You know, for 0% sugar, it's got a little bit of sweetness on the end. Hard to get rid of it all. Yeah. Harvested out of low bricks, which means that the, the grapes did not get very ripe. They were harvested early in their growing cycle. Mm -hmm. um, so it's acidic, it's got a backbone to it. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. Just looking at the back of the label, yeah. I'm like turned on. By what? All right, so I don't know if, let me see the front of the label. So the front, okay, there you go. So you've got the bottle. Yeah. We all love that boxed wine. Like Oh, not all of us. That is so like when you you've never had boxed wine before? I've had far too much boxed wine in my it, life. Exactly. It takes you back to the old school boxed wine days. That's a good memory for you? Good memories for me. I don't know about you. Party scene. Out of nowhere, I'm looking at this keg, right? Is that yeah, a keg? That is a keg of wine. Yeah. What? All right, so I'm having fun with this. I love the fact that it's a twist off and yeah. it gives you the options. Like it's so easy to read for someone who doesn't know anything about wine. Yeah. Um, it's a I talker. It. It's a talker too because it's a, it's a white Merlot. People yeah. don't know what the heck is that. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be the only person at, at your party with a white Merlot. Yeah, it was like the, the popular student in your class. Yeah. So let's give it a dinger. Okay. Let's give it a dinger. Because it kind of over delivers for what it is I think and it's unusual it's kind of curious white Merlot I'll give it a ding whoops a ding and a half okay I actually like it a lot yeah and I feel like in my world when I invite my friends or when I'm having parties like this would be a cool label and like a cool model just to have sitting around you know and yeah. it's easy because you know you're drunk it's my birthday's coming up I'm drunk everyone's like oh and I'm trying to be a host and I'm trying to pour wine and then I look at it and then I'm like oh, ha, 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 and then I pour the wine I'd give it three dings three dings three dings yeah no well Paul I'm gonna pour some more because yeah. it's kind of hot in here it's a perfect place to but see how easy that was like yeah. come on okay I yeah. want you to compare me with the wines I want to see if you know me if this was a dirty dish what would it be a dirty dish <sighs> Eva, where, where are you coming from with these things? I don't know. Bowl, spatula, uh, fork. Uh, you know, uh, a, a, a pasta bowl encrusted with old sauce. How all right, you? all right. Next question. Yeah. Paul, if this was a sex position, what would it be? A sex position. I'm out of here. My wife could be watching this. <sighs> See ya. Sixty-nine. 